Remember that? I told you. You know what that is? I told you. Hands down. I fight you. He heard this shit. I'm gonna see that punch coming a mile away. He gonna eat you. He about to swing. He's like, oh my god, there's a there's a meteor <laughs> oh, coming. Oh man, me hook. <laughs> if he hits you, you're gonna die. So don't let him get that motherfucker rumbling. <laughs> Ooh, cousin, Why I you pissed me off. <laughs> Why I oughta come from the top with that. You probably gotta lift that motherfucker up with Hulk the other smash. arm. Ugh. Douche. But if it connects, you're gonna die. So don't <laughs> let it hit you. <laughs> don't, don't let it hit you. I know how to you. get to him. Back on the vent. You make it like whole chicken. <laughs> Oh, hey, I got chicken. Hey, they're gonna be so no. shit if he pull up hey, again. Hey, you stop Fuck. talking. About, you stop talking about your cousin, man. I love you, shit. No, you don't. Seventeen, twenty years. Gonna, I love you. you don't love You're shit. Gonna, it's my nigga. Uh, you gonna no throw shit. him off his game with a chicken sandwich? I wonder where shit on right now. Nigga, the toilet or the kitchen table? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, what the hell? <laughs> Could be on the couch. Hey. She'll take up a whole love seat. If he's on the <laughs> toilet, you cannot see the toilet. Talk about sports, nah. man. It's gone. Yeah. He ain't seen his dick in years. <laughs> I'm sure of it. <laughs> he's been playing hot seats since 2006. <laughs> oh, bro, <laughs> we never got to lift weights to, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, hey, hey. hey. So you, you got crack you know some I mean, you got to really rearrange. Yeah, Talk about bro. sports, man. There's Baby! De there's definitely some crust and some Come lift me up. I'm trying to get in somewhere. the bath. That's tough. He got a woman? Hey. Oh, he's married with a baby. That's oh, tight. Damn. We talked about that last time. She was on Sports. top. Yeah, she absolutely wrote that one out. Yeah, nigga. Like a soldier? If he get on top, like that young lady's going to die. Like, she is a soldier, because I know it smell down there. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Okay, I got it. Yeah. This is your family. <laughs> I'm here with you. You played the drop. I did play the drop. She won't say good. Like, hey, we boycotted again. Good. Kind of. All right, Stephen uh, A., be careful. James Blake, right? That's his name? Jacob yes. Blake. Jacob Blake. After the aftermath of Jacob James Blake. James Blake is a singer, right? He is. Yeah. Shout out to Freedom with the game. Fire. Jacob Blake, the aftermath. Um, That's Elijah Blake. I'm hearing a lot of different Damn. stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> the Milwaukee yeah. Bucks, who play in Milwaukee, where, you know, the w shooting happened. Wisconsin. They were, uh, mm, what didn't happen in Wisconsin, Kenosha, Wisconsin, but yeah. they decided they were not going to play the game. Right. Now, I'm hearing now that the big beef was the fact that they weren't going to tell anybody. And niggas were mad. They were just going to... Well, they left for Orlando hanging. Orlando didn't know. Yeah. Orlando didn't so, know. I almost feel like everybody was mad about the Jacob Blake shit. It's also mad. Like, nigga, what are y'all on? Tell us. Just, you know, common courtesy. Right. Let us know y'all not playing so we can know. Right. Act accordingly. Right. So we, so we don't go out here looking stupid. Warming up. Looking not fake. Not stupid shit. Yeah, like, like, we, don't, like, we don't care about the movement. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the NBA... The powers that be, LeBron, um, and Kawhi. They had a big old town hall meeting. They decided they was not going to play that night. We start hearing Lakers and Clippers said they ain't done. Any sports fan said, man, come on now. Like, for, hey, bro, what y'all on? Like, I said, cool. Nah, because let me tell you something. If the Lakers and Clippers leave the bubble, the playoffs, nigga. I don't give a fuck. The Get my, my ring. Be, are you getting it, if that's the case? <laughs> You're you. definitely getting Get it. My, run with my ring. Oh, yeah, but... I the a NBA boycotted for about 42 and a half hours. 70, 72 hours. 72 hours? They did three days. Wednesday, No, they announced Thursday. they was playing way earlier than they. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. what made it look funny because they were like, yeah, these games are postponed. They boycotted Thursday. They didn't play Thursday night. Or no, they didn't play Wednesday night. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. They played Saturday. But we knew they was playing on Thursday. It was like, okay, we're yeah. we going to play. Yeah. You know? All of a sudden, niggas had linked up or yeah. Zoom call with Barack Obama. Barack was like, nigga. Go play. What y'all doing? I get it. I can't cancel the season now. We we it's all we got. Now I have a bracket. <laughs> We've been we we I uh have been watching you guys <laughs> yeah. and uh and uh, I think you guys can get it done. I don't think you have to listen to what Barack Obama says either. Just an opinion. Nope. You don't, but you do. He's, he's not saying. in your shoes. He's not, but you definitely But you know what? I think the person that made He's definitely unk. the most significant sure. statement was Doc Rivers. Mm -hmm. Who said one. The NBA, it's not the NBA's job to save the world. It's their job to be a part of the world. We've got to stop looking at them like, hey, niggas, shit's bad out here. Shut sports down. Stop. Their job is to play basketball. Yes. For sure. If they feel they don't want to play, that's their business. We can't look at them and say, hey, why don't y'all quit playing, man? Fuck them niggas. That's not their job. That's not what they do. It's but once fair. they quit playing, are we okay to be like, all right, let's do this? Oh, I'm, oh, not, doing this? I'm not going to lie. I was, I was like, nigga, I better finish this season. 
I was I was torn because me I didn't I don't like putting that pressure on athletes. But I'm that's, like, that's, it's not fair. But if you're gonna do it, then do it. I was, but again, I think that's where some of the disconnect was. Milwaukee, what y'all on? Like, say something, nigga. Right. Well, cause, to, truthfully speaking, it's not me being biased, but like Toronto and Boston were already talking about not playing. Yeah, yeah. that had come out a couple yeah. days before, and they they talked about it. Uh, Milwaukee openly. just happened to play first. Then let everybody know Milwaukee wasn't saying shit. Right. But the word the word around town was like Boston and Toronto are not playing their game. But Milwaukee was scheduled on Wednesday. Um, they were scheduled on Thursday. I was at peace, man. I really was you like was cool with them shutting down. I was cool. I was you know I still watch NBA basketball for sure, but I definitely understood if they were going to go all the way. I am proud though, you know what I mean? Because they sacrificed, they made a statement, they shut things down for a day. You know what I mean? A day and a half, and I think that there are some good things that came out of it. They all mentioned how they had a plan. It was executed, and now they back playing. Who knows what the terms yeah, were? We don't know. But they all say LeBron said said it. Jamal Murray said last night, "We had a plan. It's been executed, and we playing." I do so, know that the next TBA will have boycotting in it, and you're I, not going to do this no more. So to me, like, if the if the if the if the the catalyst for them boycotting was Jacob Blake. I thought they were gonna like not play until like the cops were arrested. I, I thought that they didn't play until Friday again. <laughs> <laughs> and well, that's, Friday, I told man, you. That's, that's only me saying because you guys stopped everything. Yeah. Like you made a statement as if you were as if you were down to be like, "Nah, we're not doing this until this gets taken care of." They're and also. I feel better because they did walk out here with these three things that I think they had before the bubble. Here's my. But, but also, they could have. The niggas in Wisconsin could have said, "Well, we're not gonna arrest these niggas, so get over it." Yeah, but you gotta ha- you gotta make them prove that. Or I mean, I, so, it's, it's 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 so many sides because like you could have did I, that and you could have been boycotting for. I brought months. something up. I brought something up to YouTube the other day. We all talking during the promo video. Yeah, when we were trying to record. Yeah, okay, that was it. But you hurt. But like, I I kind of think when the NBA boycotted, I think men look funny in the light, and I know there's always the, t- the back and forth. It's very divisive talk. Of we don't protect black women, right? And we don't care until, well, for me, I think this looks funny because we knew what happened to Breonna Taylor before the bubble, right? Okay, everybody know there's no justice for her, and everybody put put her on her shirt. She's on their shoes. They're talking about it. Jacob Blake gets shot, and they and they're ready to quit playing basketball. But to that point, George Floyd happened before the bubble too. Yes, yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. And they still went to the bubble. Yes, it did. But. We had justice for George Floyd. Those cops got uh, at least a semi-justice. Those cops were arrested. Are they, are they still locked up? I don't know what. That's show, what they want. We want to see. Justice. For example, justice for Brown Taylor means arrest those cops. That's what. Yeah, it's like. we don't even know what step two is. We no, don't we don't. We know the first step is they got to. <laughs> yeah. They should be walking free. Yeah, right. So with, with with George Floyd, is we know, right buddy's buddy's in jail. Right. With Brianna Taylor, there's been nothing to happen. So it looks to me, it looks funny in the light when. We knew what was going on with Breonna Taylor, and y'all were willing to go to the bubble and play basketball and talk about her. When somebody gets shot, there's a man. It's like, oh, we shutting this shit down. That looks funny. Mm-hmm. Can I say this, though? Yes. I think Breonna Taylor, it, it was like a combo. You know what I mean? And during that time, the pandemic had just hit. So there was already a lot of marching and protests and protesting and, and, and moments that were – you know, used to highlight that particular issue. I think they entered the bubble, right? You know, they were heads. They entered the bubble thinking, how can we bring and shed more light? And they did. You know, they they painted the Black Lives Matter sign on the court. The players were able to express themselves. Mm-hmm. The players were able to continue to talk about Breonna Taylor. They still are. Jamal Murray just had on her yeah, uh, shoes. Facts. Yep. Facts. The shoes last night. So I don't. I don't want to say that this was a situation where like we don't care about black women. I don't, I don't, I, I'm, I'm being devil's advocate kind of because I know that we care about black women. Right, right, right. But right. what I'm saying is there was no type of justice for Breonna Taylor and we didn't have a problem playing basketball. And it looked like, like Deuce was saying, we're not playing until we get justice for Jacob Blake. Right. We're stopping until we get justice. Well, if that's the case and you're, and you're willing to quit until you see justice for Jacob Blake, why were you ever willing to play until you saw justice for Breonna Taylor? That question could be I think, asked. Yeah, I think that's that's definitely looking at it in a vacuum. I think we realize there are definitely way more 
elements to all these stories and like there's videos and things of that nature. Also, so it's, it's a little. But would you be? Would it be crazy if women said so? Why couldn't y'all stop playing for Brown Taylor? Women say a lot of things. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I, yes, why did the WNBA stop playing for? Why didn't the WNBA stop playing for? Now, that's Taylor? a comeback. And, and I don't think that's fair. And why don't women watch the WNBA? I feel like they, the, they don't. The, don't I? Don't, I know a lot of black women. I know like maybe two that watch WNBA. It's weird. I feel like the it's whole weird. point. And I'm just I'm just throwing right. out there because I can see that being thrown. Yeah. This, out. There's two there's two sides of the coin there. Two sides to a nigga, yo. Shout out to J. Cole because on one side, by me playing basketball, I can bring more awareness to the issue. That's one part of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I thought last week I was like, dang, should we not record this week? But I was like Fuck out of here. Nah, we can record because we can we can continue to talk, talk about, about it and bring it to light. To me, I so I like I said I don't like putting the 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 social justice pressure on athletes. I don't think that's really their lane. It's not fair. But I feel like if you are going to step into that lane, I feel like I'm cool to expect things of you. And it, I don't. They didn't express a goal up front, so maybe it was my fault for expecting a goal out of them. And, it was kind of just like, oh, we not playing. They didn't really say why. They was just like, I was thrown for a loop. I definitely thought it would be, well. Milwaukee and Boston and Toronto gonna be like fuck this shit, but I know LeBron's gonna be like nigga leave. I don't care. <laughs> it was very I don't know if it was refreshing or weird or what, <laughs> but to hear LeBron and, and Clippers and Lakers saying they done and to Rest that, y'all niggas to that y'all point to. we were not in that room. We've only heard. We've been told. Yeah. I don't believe half of anything they said coming out of that shit because niggas is just talking. They said Patrick Beverly told some lady that he pays her bills. Oh no, he got checked for that. Found that out no, the nigga on his team said he didn't say that. Didn't say that. So, so that was fake? That's what fake. they're saying. So what about when they said Chris Paul, you're not having like, hey, nigga, fuck you up. That's what they said, but they said he didn't say it. That's what I'm saying. No, we were no. not in that room. We don't know. So we heard LeBron walked out of three different meetings or some shit like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, it's, you know what makes it weird, though? <laughs> what? Like, oh, Brock Obama, we got to his room. Yeah. I think we all well, respect Barry. inside the NBA. They talked about it openly. Like, we talking about, like, yeah, them niggas would say they was leaving. So they heard, they heard the same mad story intel, we heard. That's weird, though. You would think they would get the right intel. And if they got intel that was different, they wouldn't talk about what we talking about. No, I'm, saying, I'm not saying they didn't get their different intel. I'm just saying nobody was in that room, but the niggas was in the room. That was in the room. Right. Uh, shit. Another point. Fuck Brian Urlacher, too. Definitely fuck him. Yeah, he's trash. Because, no, just we just don't know. Like we don't like to. It's all. Oh, I was going to say Kenny Smith. I thought the Kenny Smith shit It looked forced. Like, bro, I think that I felt the Kenny Smith shit. Sorry, I, I, I thought it was like I'm gonna help me out. So here's here we go, rough. Something happens, right? And you know about it, right? Mm-hmm. And we say, hey, we're recording tonight, right? You drive all the way from Calston to Whitestown, get here, record, and then say, you know what? I'm not feeling it, guys. I'm out of here. Take it off. Or do you just not come? Do you? That's why it looks funny. <laughs> I do you I believe. The chat and say, no, you're y'all, saying man, that. I, don't I know, feel. Bro. I feel like. First of all, that's like an all day thing. He didn't just. Mm, he doesn't. Special, that was he special, doesn't, special recording. Because it was supposed to be a game at that time. I know, but yeah, they, they were, were going to talk during halftime anyway. They had to go to work. He didn't I know, live there. They didn't, I know, but they show up way before these games start. They're there. That's his job. He didn't show up 10 minutes before they started recording. He said before he walked off, I was in the car driving here, man. I was thinking about it. I don't said know. That. Oh, okay, okay, so I don't know. Y'all feel like y'all, y'all never been moved in the moment to do something? Yeah, I never think Kenny should have never showed up. Kenny Smith know. did not show up tonight. He's but standing with the players. He was, oh, but he was going back and forth, and he got there, and he realized like because he also what? has a job and a duty. Yeah, yeah. But in yeah. these times, you if you're doing uh, that at your job, they're gonna be like, okay. I, 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 I you know what? It's society's fault. I'm skeptical of everything. I feel you. I wasn't mad at it though, man. I wasn't, I wasn't mad. mad at it. it just felt like, staged. I thought it was real? genuine. I thought it was genuine. It could have been. I don't. I'm not, I, I won't say it. He's never. He's never not been genuine. Nope. These moments make people do things they would not normally do. Like walk out of meetings with NBA players, allegedly. I got you. I mean, Bubbles, hey, round two of the playoffs is here. We'll move on from that. It's a pandemic, man. Round two of the playoffs is here. We're going to have a final. Are y'all leaving Paul George alone? He's kind of been cool. PG. Yeah, he's he's, he's hey, been playing better. No, 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 no. We got to come back. We talked about him like a dog. We yeah. also said he's one good game from yeah, everybody. Everybody leave him alone. Everybody leave him alone. That nigga, hey, now maybe we woke this nigga up. I ain't seen him miss too many shots since we talked about it. <laughs> oh, that, that very next game, he's on a mission. He went 20. But you know what? I actually credited Kawhi with that. Make sure he got his looks. No, 
we talked a lot about Luca. The whole, whole world did. And Kawhi came out and said, all right. <laughs> I'll cover him. All right. No, nah, it ain't even that. I'm setting the tone tonight where everybody going to whoop ass. Yeah. He came out six for six. Game was over. Yeah. Kawhi came out like, I, who? 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 He's what the fuck I thought, nigga. Me. <laughs> <laughs> and by that time, I am, this nigga, nigga scored the third most points in NBA history in the playoff game. Who do you think you are? I am. 154, 157, 57. They're 154. You don't just see that a lot. Right. That's a lot of fucking points. On a, yes. on a team that plays defense when they want to. They play like that, nigga. Indeed. Everybody pack up. You still scared? If they play like that, hell yeah. But I can I can combat that with if LeBron AD shoots 70%, then we got a fucking heavy weight. The fight we've been waiting on. The minute we, the, the minute the trade went through, we're one step closer to. Whew, it's gonna be some basketball with these niggas. Oh, uh, can I ask you, Pacer niggas, how y'all feel about Nate, man? I was fucked up, man. I'm on just, the fence. Just even, even in the, so, I'm the kind of nigga that. So last year I was like, I, I'll admit, I said, how long are we keeping Nate? Mm-hmm. But then this year you got Sabonis and Vic hurt, um, and then. Not two weeks ago, they gave this nigga a fortnight ago. They extended this nigga, <laughs> and so it's just it looks real funny in the light. But I don't, I don't know what was. I don't know if it's like a thing where Vic is like, because if you're star player, if you don't want Vic to leave, and Vic is like, I want a new coach. Yeah, you got. I it. get they would do that. Yeah, but why extend them? Why extend them? Some I'll, people look at it as a favor. They can do that. I want to say this. Um, I was very surprised because Nate's had good teams. Considering all the circumstances. Here's the thing. I've never seen Vic, that favorite done before in my life. Vic, Vic was hurt, right? He's basically got a new squad. Brogdon, new PG. PG I mean, uh, Brogdon was hurt a lot this season. Still played well. Nate's they a great call coach. call me Mr. Glass. I do want to say this, though, which makes the Vic story a little bit more compelling. When the bubble started, there was an interview with Nate. And basically the news dropped about Vic saying he may not play in the bubble. And they on the interview said, like, I'm, it's my first time hearing that shit, too. I don't know. <laughs> a word? Oh. You said so, that? <laughs> what you said that? We said today? Earlier? Yeah. Victor. So on this podium. That could be telling of that particular situation. I, I get all of that. I think firing Nate or not extending Nate was absolutely fair. But why extend him and then fire him? It just looks strange. I think that Nate went as far as on the basis coach. I think in a in a league where you know results are king, I think he's lost in the first round every time he's been in the playoffs. Yeah, four times. He's not get anybody and fired. He's three. Unless your name's Terry Stotts. I, mean, I didn't know that that I didn't know that the <laughs> playoff record was that bad, bad. But three for sixteen is bad. Who's the other nigga? I was just talking. about need to be fired. The nigga from uh, Brett Brown. Then they fired Brown, him. They fired him. Oh, Brett Brown gone. Yeah. He's Terry. He had no control over that basketball. I do. I also think it's weird. There was an outpour of. Hire Mark Jackson. Mark Jackson doesn't want doesn't want to be NBA coach, and if he does, he might. there's a reason niggas aren't be, hiring him. He don't want to be in Indiana. He wants to be in LA. Yeah, and look here, I don't want they'll be fired. When he gonna start playing hey. the sermons and the gospel. Do music. not hire they Michael D'Antoni. Well, they are. They are told us more or less that that's who they're hiring. So for shit. what? I just feel like there's there's a slew of niggas. There's niggas who aren't coaching right now that you can call. Like your um like your Van Gundy's or like OG Jason niggas. Kidd. You want to Jason Kidd. What? A retread coach like old nigga ain't like uh, George Carl. No, George Carl, last nigga. Not George Carl. Uh, I'm thinking more like Stan Van Gundy. No, or, no it's not good either. He just was bad in Detroit. No, I'm, Jeff. I Jeff have, don't coach no more. Would you rather have Jeff Stan Van Gundy or Mike D'Antoni? I don't know. Right, Mike can get you to the playoffs. It'll Mike be fun basketball. Yeah. Oh, oh, niggas gonna be running and gunning. Yeah, niggas be running and gunning, boy. But Mike don't have James Harden. No, he didn't. He didn't in New York either. He didn't do that. He didn't do uh, that. They went to playoffs a couple times. Once. I get. I just. I guess Mark Mark Jackson would be a good coach. <laughs> you don't have Steve. But Nash. don't have Steve Nash either. Shit, we're not having a Mark Stout Mark either. Nigga. We're not yeah. Stat, big, big stat. Shout out to the homie. Our I team is solid. Just that's it's, they're solid. I just wanted to ask you. I thought it was weird, man. I feel like if they just didn't extend them. It would have made sense. You could just let them yeah. go. They saying it's a favor because I guess you got paid for it. But like it's still in the public eye. It looks weird. Strange. That and maybe just, and maybe mm-hmm. it was a Vic call. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. We'll never know. Shit, Vic might not be here much longer. He might not be. And it's going to be rebuild season. I got TJ. Yeah, but it's going to be ugly in the paint any, anyway. KD, for KD Kyrie, years, and man. all them shooters coming. So, I want to see them next year. Bro. I would like to see Kevin Durant play first. I got McGraw you. McGraw waiting on it. 
The real is the real. Hey, these extra times niggas and shit. No, they don't. The East in trouble. The real is back next season. Steph and Clay coming back. Think about this, nigga. The East in trouble. What they gonna do? KD was a was two months from having to play. Mm-hmm. And now he get a whole nother extra time. It's crazy. That's fine. Yeah, even one, even one leg KD is you know this is still a good player. One leg KD I almost want to final game. No, he's great. But you know, <laughs> like yeah. you know what I mean. Uh, we still I mean, we still got two killers. Kyrie on our Irving, team. KD, KD we got three actually, three eighteen, and we're out of here. Shooters, we got to move. Two big men, bro. It's, it's gonna be interesting mm-hmm. in the East it for is. years. Next, next respect Boston. Fuck y'all. I like Boston. I'm saying. But let's, you know, hey. The East in trouble. It is. If Kevin, everything goes Kevin well, they Kyrie are. Kyrie coming back. It's KD that they're really worried about. It's the, it's the, it's the seven-footer that shoots And threes, it's Karis LeVert. Out. He just on the team, too, just there. It's, it's Kevin Durant we're talking about. I'm not listening. I'm just bringing, I'm just saying they got other good players, too. They do. Shooters. They got Kevin Durant. Remind me what Kevin's done by himself. We'll see. All right. Um, so that guy sabotaged by Russell Westbrook by himself. <laughs> Any, hey, have your hers? Uh, I don't uh, have come, Tenet comes out this weekend. I'm geeked. You going? You going? I'm going to try. I'm I need scared. to find a babysitter. Y'all want to watch scared. my kids for me? Uh, holler at me. We're going to be in Chicago on Saturday, though. I can go Thursday. Mm. <laughs> I'm not talking about it. Uh, <laughs> that's tough. Oh, shit, man. I forgot this, man. Shout out. Uh, October 4th.